we are Two Grateful Stitchers. Thanks for joining us for our very first Floss Tube. We are excited to be starting this project. Yes. <laughs> um, we're hoping to be motivated to stitch more. Uh, we plan to do these monthly. Uh, we have a long history together. Laura and I have been friends for almost 30 years. We have a lot of similar tastes and hobbies. And one of the things that we've always enjoyed doing together is stitching, shopping for stitching. <laughs> Lots of shopping for stitching. <laughs> Retreats for stitching. <laughs> Anything to do with stitching, we, we're, we're each other's stitchy friend. So that's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, we have one project to show you to start. So this is, we don't know the name of the pattern. <laughs> it's an old pattern. <laughs> it's very old. It's from the 90s. So I finished mine in 1998. And I finished mine in 2006. So we are not sure of the name of this pattern, but we will try to find it. If someone knows it, feel free to comment and let us know. If we can find it, we'll put it in the description box below. Uh, but we both have this hanging in our homes and it keeps us connected. It does. All right, so we will show you some fully finished objects to start. Okay. So I will have you show yours first. Sure, we'll start. Um, my first project here is by Little House Needleworks and this is called Winter ABCs. Um, on this one, I used 32 count Belfast linen and the color I believe is Smoky Pearl. Um, and I did not use all the called floor colors. If you look at the pattern, almost everything is done in white and that was just too much white for me. So I switched out and I put some blue in for the mittens. I made the house gray. Um, I like the blue truck. Everybody's doing red trucks these days, and I, of course, I had to be a little bit different, so I made my truck blue. I love it. Um, so that's that, uh, and I put some cording on it, and I'm gonna show you the back, and then I'm gonna show you how I have this hanging in my home. Back is not fancy, um, but I do have three Velcro uh, dots right on the back of this, and the reason for that is because the tray that I got myself at Hobby Lobby, I also put three Velcro dots on it. So this just kind of sets in there and um, it fits perfectly and I hang it on the wall. And my plan now is to complete the other seasons, the spring, summer, and fall, and uh, do the backing the same way with the Velcro strips. And that way I can swap these out with the seasons and I don't have to keep buying different kinds of trays or frames for all my different cross-stitch projects. So that's that one. Um, I'm going with a seasons theme today. You're going to figure that out <laughs> as you're watching. Uh, my next one here is by Cross-Eyed Cricut, and this is Winter. I did this one on 32 count um, raw natural linen, and um, I mounted this the same way. This is also mounted with Velcro. And so as I finish the other seasons, I will pull that off and put the other season on. And this, of course, is um, also a tray from Hobby Lobby. It says welcome underneath. So if I ever wanted to just hang it up and say welcome to everybody, I could do that. But um, my plan is to do all the other seasons and hang them the same way. Beautiful. That's fun. <laughs> um, and then here we go, some more seasons again. Um, these, I'm trying, oh, what was the name of them? I just had them all out. Here we go, Lila Studio. <laughs> these are Lila Studio. So I have winter and autumn done. And both of these I've done on the called for fabric, which was a 40 count linen. And I did use all of the called for floss. So I have two little pillows finished and I have two more seasons to go. Do you keep them in a dough bowl or how do you display them? Um, right now I have these um, in my family room. I have a ledge oh, by yeah. my family room window. And so they're just sitting there. And then I'll put the other two on the ledge as well when they're done. Awesome. Um, I had a dough bowl in my front hallway, but my husband keeps throwing the dog leashes in there and the mittens <laughs> in there and the car keys in there. And then I'm too afraid that all my hard work is going yeah. to uh, pull a snag or dirty. And so, no, they don't go there anymore. <laughs> Even though I'd like them to be there, they just don't go there anymore. Makes sense. Um, and then the next one I have is a la -dee da pattern and she's called Sweet Pea. The pattern calls for 32 count Confederate gray um, linen by Weeks Dye Works, but I did mine on a 36 count linen because I wanted my little bunny to be a little bit smaller. So there she is. She stands about four inches tall. You can see in my hand, I think maybe you can get a good idea of about how big she is. 
Uh, the tail is just made out of uh, some of the linen that was pulled from the extra fabric after I cut the pattern out. And I just put some cute little um, calico um, fabric on the back and she stuffed and um, she's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I like her. Even my husband likes her. She's up all year long. I'm not waiting for spring for this one. <laughs> so that was fun. And I did use a call for floss for that on the pattern. And then my last one is a pattern by Brenda Gervais, and this one is called um, Coffee First. I did this one on the called for fabric, and I did use the called for colors. Uh, the little coffee cup and the little spoon I purchased um, from an Etsy shop, and I, I believe you can still find them out there because somebody else had asked me recently where I got them, and I think um, she was able to purchase them as well. If we can find a link, we'll put that in yep. the description. We'll put that in there too. Yep, absolutely. Adorable. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for me. It's her turn. <laughs> okay, I only have one. <laughs> so I just have this little guy. We took a virtual retreat together in October. Mm -hmm. And this was, we stitched it for the retreat and then we finished it during the retreat. Um, and it was with Bent Creek and Heart and Hand. Friends of Cross Stitch. Friends, Friends of, of something. What? Well, what? We're going to put that below too. I should have you can tell up. this is our first video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so, and this was a lot of fun finishing this. Laura helped me do it that day, so that was wonderful. Uh, we can move into our finishes. Um, that's me. That's okay. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I, I'm, that's the only fully finished object I had was the one from that virtual retreat, but this is a finish that I would like to show. Okay, so the pattern is called Hearts Blossomed by Sam Sarah, and this is the pat, or this is the project. This is a birth sampler for my granddaughter. Uh, I was diagnosed in December of 2018 with stage three breast cancer. And when they first told me that I had cancer, my first thought was I can't die, I have too many projects to do. <laughs> Honest to God, that was the very first thing I thought. Um, and throughout treatment, I finished this quickly because I needed to get it done. I was very worried that she wouldn't have this. Um, it was very motivating. And I had a complete response to chemotherapy and have uh, been in, well, they call it no evidence of disease, for a little over two years, which is wonderful. <laughs> and we are grateful. <laughs> very grateful. grateful. Um, but we needed something else to motivate me to stitch more often. So that's why we're doing floss too. So <laughs> I'm very grateful for that. Um, but I have plans to make these for each of my grandchildren. So I have one more to show of a sampler. So this is from Ben Creek and this is from my grandsons. And I got started on this one. Covered up his oh, stuck to the needle minder. <laughs> it's okay. Um, oh I should say the one for my granddaughter I did use the called for colors, but the fabric is all 28 count Lugana, I think, and I did the coffee tea dye. Um, I followed the video that Priscilla and Chelsea from the Real Housewives mm -hmm. of Cross Stitch put out, and I love doing that. Um, so, and then for a while it was really hard to find that, so I had done a bunch of it, so a lot of my stuff is on that fabric, but then it was hard to find it for a while. So this is the second pattern that I just showed you, and this, my daughter has two boys, and I was going to reverse this so that the tree was going this way on one and this way on the other, and I spent a lot of time in Photoshop trying to figure that out because I'm not as tech savvy as I would like to be. And then my daughter changed her mind. So now they're both just going to be the way of the pattern. So I just am going to make two of them. So then this is the fabric for the second one that I will start on as soon as this one is finished. So, And that one I am using, I believe, all of the called for colors. So, okay. And I have two more that I'm working on. This one's called Blessed or Blessed Be by With Thy Needle and Thread by Brenda Gervais, or with Brenda Gervais. Um, and I'm using the called for colors, and these colors are amazing. Yeah, they're beautiful. I just love this pattern. They are beautiful, beautiful colors. Yeah. She does, so she does a good job of, of picking out. She really does. I colors. love her work, yeah. So this is my start on this, and I have to frog something over here, and so I haven't touched this in a few weeks or months because, <laughs> because nobody likes to frog. <laughs> I sure don't. So I'll just put it away and pick up something else. There's plenty other to pick up, so that's good. <laughs> um, and then my very last one that I'm working on is called Land That I Love by Lizzie Kate. And I am doing things a little bit different on this. This is the project. And it's the same coffee tea dyed fabric, that 28 count. 
I'm using Lancaster red instead of the garnet red that it calls for. And then these little holes are where the little sheep will be. And that I'm using that whisper thread for, so they look a little fuzzy sheep. Um, so this is almost done. And I, sh I think just the flag on the top and the sheep and it'll be done. So excited to finish that one. So that's my last whip to show. And then you have? I have one, not FFO, just oh, one finish. finish. Yep, just one finish. Um, Liz actually gave me this as a gift. She gave me the pattern. And um, she kept a pattern for herself, too. She bought one for each of us. We were going to do it together to mm -hmm. motivate each other. <laughs> I still have all of it. I just <laughs> haven't done it yet. <laughs> and, of course, I loved the colors. Uh, it reminds me of the cardinals in, a, um, in our backyard here in the wintertime. They're just beautiful. So um, that's that. I haven't decided if I'm going to turn it into a little pillow. Um, I really do like the way that the ribbon is ruched on these pillows, but I don't know how to do that yet. I think I have to do some practicing. Um, but I'd rather practice on something um, not as delicate and, and as fine as this before I would attempt it. Um, but then another thought is also just to put it in a, in a tiny little frame. So I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with that yet. But that is the called for uh, fabric and, uh, of course, the called for silk because Liz gave it to me as a present. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And then I have um, two whips, I guess is what you call them. Yep. Yeah, works in progress. Yep. Yeah. So I showed you the Cross-Eyed Cricket um, Winter, and this is the Cross-Eyed Cricket Spring. This is as far as I've gotten. Um, the Cross-Eyed Cricket Spring here is shown on kind of like a yellow fabric. Um, I didn't really care for that much, so I did mine on a, um, like a blue-white kind of fabric. I got this from Silk Weaver, Weaver Fabrics from one of their flash sales. And this is a 32 count linen. And I am using all the called for floss, which is all DMC and there's like 35 of them. So I'm not gonna stand up here and show you guys all my flosses. But that's as far as I've gotten with that. That's beautiful. Thank you. And then um, I showed you the winter ABCs that were hanging in that long tray. Um, so now I'm starting on the spring ABCs and I'm doing that on a 32 count linen. And that's as far as I've gotten, and I am using all of the called for flosses for this one. Um, if you do do something like that, and that tray is at Hobby Lobby, 32 count uh, fits that perfectly. Um, from top to bottom, sideways, um, it's just a really, really good size fabric to use if you want to do it um, in a tray like that. Now I have to go buy that tray at Hobby I know. Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> but you only need one, because you can do all the seams, right? and then you can just flip them up. Yes, wonderful. Um, and then what do we have? Oh, I have two that I have kitted up, but I have not started them yet. So this one is One Nation. I'm sure you guys have seen this oh, yeah. before. Um, my husband actually wanted me to do this one. He's a very patriotic kind of guy and he thought that would be really cool. Um, of course, he's not the one that has to do all the work, <laughs> but I don't know when I'm going to get it started either. But I did, uh, was able to um, find the fabric and it is Lakeside um, Vintage Cedar Plank. Yep. 36 count vintage cedar plank. And the colors are all DMC flosses. Very patriotic. I so love that it. It's very, very patriotic. And um, I do want to get started on that soon. Maybe by our next video. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. And then um, you already saw the winter and um, fall pillows um, Lila Studio so um, I purchased the spring and summer so I have those and uh, the called for fabric that they asked for in the pattern which is kind of hard to get now one two three stitch doesn't have a whole lot in stock anymore but this is a 40 count legacy Newcastle linen and it's tiny <laughs> very tiny it's 40 count so I have to use my uh, magnifier um, we both have some magnifying glasses that we use. We kind of look funny. We can show them next time. We'll show them. But uh, yeah, in order to work on that 40 count, it's kind of difficult. But the colors are beautiful, and I can't wait to get these done. Awesome. Thank yep. you. So the only other thing I wanted to show was just organization. So I had this, um, saw this in the Colorado Cross Stitcher Floss Shoot video, one of her early ones. She showed just a box keeping supplies next to you while you're stitching. So I've been doing that. 
and that's handy. Um, the very first floss tube I watched was Farm Girl and she had like a metal container that she was putting stuff in and I had started out with that and it got a little bulky for where I was sitting so I switched to this and this is working really well. One of the things I really like about floss tube is just all the tips and tricks and hints that I pick up. Um, I also spend a lot of money after I watch floss tube because then I go order a lot of stuff which is fun too. Yeah, thanks so. guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're grateful for that too. So. So we do have a giveaway we would like to do. Yep. We have two patterns, so it's for the pattern only. Uh, it's for USA only. And don't say the word giveaway. Um, I think that triggers bad stuff to happen, so don't do that. Yep. <laughs> so the first one. The first one is Sweet Pea, and of course this was the little uh, little bunny that I made. And uh, now that I um, obviously am finished with the pattern, I'd like to pass it on to some lucky person out there. So it's for the pattern only, and what we'd like you to do is comment below with your favorite thing about spring for this pattern. And then the other pattern is the uh, coffee first, Brenda Gervais. Um, that is the little pillow that I had made. And again, we'd like to pass this on to someone. So it's the pattern only, and for this one, if you're interested, comment your favorite morning drink. We like coffee. Both of us yes. like coffee. <laughs> We'd like um, to see what you want, what, yeah, what you like what to drink. drink in the mm -hmm. morning, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can make both comments if you're interested um, in both of them. That would be no problem. We'll leave it open for four weeks. We plan to make a video every month, mm -hmm. and then we will um, contact the winner and um, get your address and get it out to you before we start the next video. And so. we'll probably put it down below, right? Yes. I think yep. Everything, everything's yep. down below. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I am grateful for this friend of mine. She is my technology guru over here. So, so we might be in trouble, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you next month. Thank you. We're grateful for you.